Kamemushi Village was prosperous during the Showa and Heisei periods. I'm Toma Kamenashi, 29 years old, and I've inherited the only hot spring hotel left. But we might have to close soon, because we're now in the Reiwa period. The weather's great, but it's slightly chilly. What's cold is our family line and our finances. A hot spring in the middle of nowhere would never be popular in this time and age. My mother, Okame Kamenashi. She had me at 18, so she's only 48. She's young, but she wants a grandchild already. My father, Takosuke Kamenashi, well, he leaves the management of the hotel all up to me and drives radish every day. I like this village! I know. You're the only young person left here. I'll make this hotel lively again! He's a talker. <sighs> I wanted to be able to give pocket money to my grandkids. Give up, Mom. As long as Toma's in the village, he won't marry. It's such a waste of good looks. Why are you saying that? I might meet someone who comes to stay! Even though only old ladies come, if you meet one of them, it's complicated. I wouldn't know what to think if your wife is older than me. Okay, I'm gonna go dry some radish and make pickles. <laughs> the weather's good, but it's so cold. Sorry, at this time. I can't believe this! It's fine to shop online, but don't make them deliver it to the convenience store! But otherwise, we'd have to pay for shipping. It takes 30 minutes by car to the nearest convenience store. I'll pay for the shipping. Think about it. They're weight stones. I feel bad for the delivery guy. Just use a random rock! Actually, tomorrow's fine. What? If you get a notification that it was delivered, you want to see it right away. Ah, oh, fuck! I get it! I'll go! I came all the way to the city, so maybe I'll buy a hamburger for a midnight snack. Hmm? There were young girls hitchhiking, and they were delinquents. It's rare, so I stopped the car. Sis! Yeah, finally! Um, hello. Where are you headed? You saved us. Uh... Oh, um, you... You've got some balls, man! Yeah, how dare you! What? Even though you had a sign asking for a ride? You would pick up pretty girls in the middle of the night. Don't be stupid. Yeah, how dare you! Okay, I'll be going then. It gets dark in about an hour, so go home. What? No! We can go with you? Uh, let us get it. We're getting in. Uh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Just let us get it. Uh, it's cold. Looking at them, their clothes were dirty and they were skinny. I decided to ask them in the bus. So warm. I feel alive again. I have tea if you want. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, thanks. You're more like rockers than delinquents. Sis, it's more like this. Toshi. No, Akine. Yo, like this. Huh? I got it, Chisu. Thanks. It's that. These girls aren't delinquents. I'm Toma Kamenashi. What are your names? What? What are you what are you asking? You're high school students, right? I'm going to call your parents. Stop. I'm 18. I'm Akine. I'm 19. I'm Kaho. The older sister, Kaho Tsurubayashi. She's wearing a red jacket and has a blonde side ponytail, which makes her look like a delinquent, but she seems gentle. The younger sister, Akine. She has a blue jacket and a ponytail. She's glaring at me, but it's cute. So, you're not underage. Wow, that's such an old man thing to say. I'm 29. I am old. Don't look at my sister like that. Eh? They're suddenly so harsh to me after they've decided I'm old? And can you tell me what's going on? Ugh. Um, please give my sister some food. I'll do anything. I know single 29-year-old men are animals hungry for blood. You're the ones who are hungry! Ah, the shop's closed! Oh, I guess I'll bring them home. Ah, uh, you can't bring us home! I knew it! You're after my sister! I'll give you food, so let me know what happened. Then I'll take you home right away. 
and we run a hotel, and my parents are there. You're an old man that lives in a kid room. No, sis. He took over the family business, so it's not the kid room. He's just an old man, right? I feel like I've aged after being called old so many times. <laughs> okay, put on your seatbelts. I'm glad that Thomas-san turned out to be nice. Don't judge too fast. Thomas-san, what were you going what were you doing out so late? I should be asking you that! I went to the convenience store to pick up white stones! What are you doing? He might be weird, sis. Ah, fuck! It's my dad's fault! I texted my dad to make some food because I picked up some skinny girls that ran away from home, and they think I'm weird because of the white stones. When we got back, there was a full course meal waiting. I didn't say to do that much! Mm, it's so good. When I heard the story, I told him to go to the police, but I would save you guys too. Tomo would always pick up lost cats. Thank you, White Stones. Ah, thank you. Um, because you've been so nice to us, I'll tell you, we're not actually delinquents. Uh, yeah, I know. People that give us food are good people. Toma-san is a good person. Delinquents this unguarded don't exist. Even though I live in the middle of nowhere, I know that much. Because I follow delinquent social media accounts. Hmm. So you had a fight with your dad and left. Yes. So you were fined for three months. Then you ran out of money and were shivering for a week. Yes, we were really shivering. Because it's cold. How unplanned are you? Okay, I understand your situation. We have a lot of empty rooms, so you can stay a few days. We finished cleaning the master bedroom. Oh, thanks. It's there. There's only one master bedroom! Are you planning to make a move on these young girls? I'll cook some red rice. No, I won't! Don't try to celebrate! Kaho and Akine wouldn't like it! I, I, I'm ready. You see? You sound weird! If you want to get to my sister, you have to get through me! Hmm. You love your sister too much! Take care of yourself! Well, it's fine. I'll just sleep in the corner. You guys can make yourselves at home. No matter how young you are, if you haven't eaten or slept properly, you'll faint. I won't forget your kindness. Ah, she's starting to like you, then I won't forget your kindness. A month later... It's the morning! Wake up! Ugh, good morning. Do you not have a heart? You say terrible things straight off the bat, Akine. My sister is leaning forward and shaking her body, and you're just saying good morning? Are you stupid? What? Sorry. I was too energetic. Okay, let's clean the bath! I was supposed to bring them home after a few days, but they ended up staying. They eat a lot every day, so now they're chubby. It's better than being skinny, though. I'll do my best. Me too. They said they would help because they're staying for a while, even though there's no work because we don't have any guests. Hey, I'm a guest! Greet me! He's here again. What is it, sir? I told you to get ready for eviction! I told you we're not doing it! It's our land and our building! Why do we have to listen to you? Village Headman Hanakusa. 40 years old. He was running in place of the village headman who hurt his back, but before we knew it, he took over. No one likes him, so we'll vote him out at the next election. We're going to close your hotel and make a heliport. Isn't that nice? Do it on your land! Are you stupid? Heliports are massive! I don't have enough land! Then you're going to have to break down other people's houses as well! Has everyone agreed to this? I'll make them agree! And we already finished the procedures. Oh yeah, and we're gonna stop giving you money to run the place. It's too old-fashioned. <laughs> if you do that, then we'll lose! Stupid! Close quickly! What? Huh? Should I beat him up? I'm not a delinquent, but I can probably do it. The thing that you're trying to close down a place that makes such good food! I'm gonna beat him up! Uh, so scary! He's still the village headman! The only reason we were able to stay running was because they gave us money. I think this might be the end. Maybe I'll dry radish too. 
What are you talking about, you idiot? I'm here. Haven't even thanked you for saving us yet. Come on, cheer up. Oh, so soft. You really gained your weight back. I gathered up courage to press my boobs against you, and you saved that. <laughs> I'm grateful to you, too. I'm chubbier than my sister now. Yeah, they're soft. Sis, Homa-san needs help. I know. We need to repay him. Kaho and Akine started their plan to revive the hotel. So I decided to do my part as well. Hello! Oh, we were waiting for you. Please, come in. So, you're Toma. Thank you so much. Toma-san, uh, Dad? Go home? I called him. I heard about the situation. Your mother passed away, and Kaho stopped going to university to help out around the house when you got into a fight, right? Exactly. I'm sorry, Kaho. I was too headstrong. I just wanted you to prioritize yourself. Uh... Oh... I'm sorry for not talking to you before skipping school. But you're busy with counselor work, and I didn't want you to work too hard. Yeah, I was worried as well. I'm going to... I'm gonna go bald! <laughs> I'm known to have a lot of hair, so it's good for you! <laughs> I like Dad, but I don't like the Dad jokes. Yeah. What's wrong? Did you say... Counselor? Tsurubayashi-san? Yes. I am Tsurutsuru Taro Tsurubayashi, a prefectural counselor. I cannot begin to thank you. Thank you for helping my daughters and updating me daily. You're an amazing person! Oh, it's fine. When Dad works, he looks scary, but he's just an old man on the inside. No, sis. Toma-san's an old man. That is Grandpa. What? Grandpa? Toma, you're still young. You should let me have the old man title. Oh yeah, Dad. The hotel, this hotel is in a crisis. The food is so good. Well, advertise so. Could you help? No, no, no. What are you saying to a counselor? Okay, then I'll move to this village. It's fine. I'll go to meetings from here. What? It's become serious. One month later. Welcome, welcome to Kamimushi Hot Spring that really doesn't have anything special about it. You can relax. We can turn off the Wi-Fi in your room or take your phone if you want. I'll show you to your room. Please, come this way. I'll take your bags. You came from so far away! Their concept, there's nothing here so don't do anything, went viral online. Our reservations were full of people exhausted from work and family. The creativity of young people and the internet is amazing! Good work today. What is it? No, I was just thinking that you're calm, caring, and pretty mature. Just because you complimented me, I'm not going to do anything. Here, some tea. Here's your phone. Do you want me to do accounting? And here's your laptop and my smile! You're giving me tons! I'm not easy like my sister. Too bad. I brought some samples of the hot spring sweets, but Akine, do you want to try them? Yes. I love that about you. Okay, I'll wear a mini maid uniform from tomorrow. That's weird! What do you mean, weird? Look at my plump body. It's plumpy. It's plumper than my sister's. Ah, uh, me too. <laughs> okay, I'll do accounting. Mm, so, I'm impregnable. Wait, Puma-san is glancing. <gasps> it's working, sis. Ah, uh, I got caught. Work, work. Shall I massage your shoulders, Puma-san? <laughs> Actually... Do you want to massage my shoulders, Toma-san? Uh, my hands were trembling, so I hit the keyboard too many times. I thought that we lost two billion this month. Our business was going well again, or doing better than we've ever been. And just when I thought the village headman would come, he came. Hey, you asshole! Is it fine letting underage girls live here? I don't think so. I'm going to tell someone. Please, go home. Mornings are busy here. I'm 19. I'm 18. What? Fuck, I'm jealous. But we need your parents' permission. I allowed it. Whoa! The scary guy that moved to our village. 
He's the father! Yes. Please, go home. We don't need a hotel that has to rely on kids! Aren't you embarrassed? Hey, you asshole. What did you just say? Huh? What happened? It's not good to come close so suddenly! My heart's racing! Kaho does chores for me as well. Eating food that women other than my mom makes is so good, and Akine can talk about Dragon Ball with me. Really? Nice! Every day is fun. If you have a problem with that, I'm gonna beat you up! No! Father! That's violent! I don't remember letting you call me father! Shit! I had a landmine! What was your name? Hanakuso? I'm Hanakusa! Whatever. You applied for a heliport, didn't you? Without asking for permission from the landowners. That's illegal. And I'm a counselor. I'll take you to court! What? <laughs> I'll cancel the application. It's too late. You've been causing so much trouble for us. I'm going to hold a grudge. I'm the village headman! If you scare me, it'll be bad for everyone! My father will help. The preparations have already been done. I've given dried radish and pickles to everyone in the village. That's a bribe! What is it? Toma? Shut up! We're sharing! Okay, it's sharing. Uh, don't mess around, counselor! This may be your hometown, but everyone hates you! <laughs> then, uh, maybe I'll go on a trip! <laughs> Hanakasa left the village. We talked about it with the other villagers, and decided that we'll let him come back if he makes a helicopter out of bamboo. Hopefully he can make it back by the 22nd century. <laughs> when I got out of the bath, the room was already dark. Did they already go to bed? No! Oh, what's going on? Who is it? This is Kaho! It's me! You can't suddenly change! That's cheating! And you're really close! It's so warm! I can't have this! Hakine, turn on the lights! Leave it to me! Leave it to me! Before that, hey! <laughs> Tomasan, I love you! I'm already, I already like you from when you picked us from the middle of the night and gave us tea! I didn't like you at first, but I started liking you after being with you. I can't let my sister have everything. Wait, I'm happy, but I'm almost 30! Oh, Tomasan is saying something weird, sis. Close his mouth with your boobs. <laughs> what? Okay. I'll do my best. What? <laughs> That's nice, but I won't be able to say anything. I like being with you both too, but you can't make me choose so suddenly. That's what we thought, so... We'll share you for the time being. Share? Is that what young people do nowadays? Have a taste of who's better. Hmm. I'm better in bed, though. Ah! Business is still going well, and for some reason... Extracts of tapon were produced. Tomasan, Tomasan, please wake up. It's morning. Hmm, no. Let's bring more tapon, sis. Uh, I just went to sleep. It's already morning? Tapon is going to be famous in this village in the future. My emaciated face is the trademark, so please purchase it. <laughs>